Hello, whiskey lovers, and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. Whenever my friend John comes over from the States, he always brings a bottle of scotch. And I, I, I keep telling me he shouldn't do it, but secretly I am happy that he did. And you'll remember that a few months ago, he brought this, the peated malt, uh, the peated blend, sorry, the peated blend by Royal Salute. Uh, Sandy Hislop created this blend with uh, uh, grain and malts, but they were all 21 years old at least, and some peated caper donic was in there, some imperial was in there, so close distilleries. I spoke to you about this a few months ago, but during his last visit, he brought this one, the Molds Blend, which seems to be a bit of a weird name because the Molds Blend, that sounds contradictory, but in fact, this is simply a blended malt, again, created by the Shivers Brothers Master Blender. 21 years old, the Molds Blend is comprised of nothing but single malts, but 21 different single malts, all 21 years old, and from the different regions of uh, Scotland. So, fascinating to say the least. The only downside, if I may say so beforehand, is the fact that this is bottled at only 40% ABV, so the, the absolute minimum, to be honest. But nevertheless, 21 single malts, all of them 21 years old, so uh, yeah, Thank you, John, for bringing this uh, this little crock or decanter or whatever you want to call it. I have a bit of a beef with that because I'm not very fond of bottles in which you cannot see the liquid. But hey, the packaging is, uh, is, is quite extensive and beautiful and the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I don't find it that beautiful, but maybe the whiskey is. It at least has a beautiful color, which reveals the fact that some sherry, matured whiskey is in there as well all of them single malts remember so the uh, the royal salute the malts blend 21 years old at 40 percent abv thank you john on the nose ho, ho, ho. never judge a book by its cover because this nose is absolutely delicate softly smoky on the nose on sweet overripe fruit some soft herbs and even a waxy note in there and just a hint of oak now the fruit that translates into sultanas some peach and apples and generously drizzled with honey in fact an actually excellent nose to be honest no two ways about it this is delicious on the palate The body is fine. It's a bit on the light side maybe, but it is waxy uh, with a nice balance uh, between the sweet tones of the fruit and the drying tannins of the oak on the other hand, and the herbs in there as well. Again, peach, sultana, they return. But it's supplemented by uh, some nuts, some honey, with a beautiful balance, to be honest. Slightly less complex than the nose promise, but nevertheless, beautiful. It's it's it's. It's satisfying, to say the least, on the finish. That finish is medium long with just a hint of smoke in there. Is it wood smoke? Is it peat? I'm not sure. I'd say wood smoke. No, peat. I don't know. Maybe, maybe both. Who knows? Because it, it is not revealed which 21 single malts were used here, all of them 21 years old, don't forget. And despite the fact that it's bottled at 40% ABV, it's beautiful, it's, it's, it's enough, it's good. It's good. It would have been more of a powerhouse at 43, 46 maybe, but nevertheless, this is delicate and in fact complex. Oh, don't underestimate malts or blended malts or even blends. Like I said, never judge a book by its cover. Uh, who said that only single malts could be good, right? This is a blended malt and it is absolutely outstanding. And like I said, only two points of criticism, and that is the fact that it's bought at that 40% ABV. Although, maybe I should, you know, retract that because it's it's actually, it's, 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 it's enough. It's enough in this case. And secondly, of course, the carafe. I'm not very fond of these. I don't like the look of this. Although it, it seems to be very popular. It's been around for over 50 years and uh, people are collecting these and drinking these. And the, the, so it's probably just me. But 
In conclusion, a delicious malts blend, blended malt, a delicious Royal Salute, 21 years old. And thank you, John, you need to come over again because I can tell this is close to empty. So uh, no, no, no. I, I mean, no, you, sh you should stop bringing back. Bring something good. Come on, bring it on, bring it on. Come over quickly. Let's have dinner again together. Big shout out to you, Mr. John Cortum, my dear friend from uh, Virginia in the United States. Come on over. I've got some cookies for you as well. <laughs> and that's all for this Whiskey Rambling. And I hope to see you at one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. And until then, may the mob be with you. Bye-bye.